Gurnila Mahagat, Kian Korla, August Time, Lon Sauce, the Larich, Aaron Okod, Starul Shah, Kumara Kade Blian, and Kade Dahl. One hundred years ago in this very room, revolutionary Ireland found its parliamentary voice. They gathered with the unity of purpose in the cause of equality, independence, and freedom. An eyewitness to the day, Maura Comerford of Cumann Amman, said of Uncaid Dahl that never was the past so near, or the present so brave, or the future so full of hope. And it is an honour for us to follow in their footsteps. To share this room today with elected representatives from across this island, including the counties of partitioned Ulster, of Antrim and Down, of Derry, Fermanagh, Armagh and Tyrone. <clears throat> Today we are whole. After so much hope, the vision of the democratic programme and the first doll was lost to British repression, civil war, partition, conflict, and the establishment of two conservative states, North and South. The Ireland of today, Count Corla, is not the Ireland promised in the 1916 proclamation. This is not the doll of the democratic programme because Ireland remains divided, broken. The tenements have gone, but tenants live in fear of eviction. Children no longer go hungry in the poorhouse, but now in hotel rooms unseen and forgotten. The lockout bosses are gone, but workers' rights are eroded, and a job is no longer a guaranteed route out of poverty. There are those who believe that homelessness is acceptable, that poverty is inevitable, and that partition is permanent. I reject those views. Our forebearers 100 years ago rejected those views. The generation that entered this room and said to the British government, your empire is ended. This is our nation. So we come not just to recriminate about what could have been, but to plan for what can be. And let me say that this is the time to realise the promise of that revolutionary generation. We shouldn't come here to genuflect to the past, but to stand with those who came before us. Is three Gaelga, a Riha Imaktina Kaid Dala Kaid Vlian Oshin. Harla Shesha, Murgavwin Kaid Krinuna Dala Lenismo Nostot of Vunu, Vwinshi Lesh and Noshun. Erlish Fulatu Lesh and Noshun, a Kirkun Kin, a Via Shin Fain, Agus Kuig Sheyavim. A reward needs no no a balriak fein. Vi ferbert the chart har glushuk the gyard kommen, agus er glushuk chart the man egen arm shin. Vi an kommen lu class gael agus kunner na gaelga er hus kainiak the major laslanu agus kwevnu an gaelga agus kaidvlin er ai tan gaelga fui vagert er anish. Kahamij Nismo Dini Spraga Kun and Gaelga Usod in a hail, Er Fudge on Ilan Ohui Agus Ohias. Independence alone is not enough. To paraphrase Connolly, it's not just about changing the flag over Dublin Castle. Ireland North and South is changing, and we have before us the opportunity to build a new united Ireland in which all can find a home in which the sick are cared for, an Ireland of the safety net and the helping hand, an Ireland of equal rights, equal opportunity and shared prosperity, a free and sovereign nation amongst the nations of the world. Standing here 100 years on, the past has never been so near, the present crying out for bravery and the future so filled with challenge and with hope. So let's not wait another hundred years. Let the government convene an All-Ireland Forum to build for unity, to plan for unity, because we now have a peaceful and democratic pathway to a new and united Ireland, 
an opportunity that was not afforded to the first Thal or to generations since. And I believe, Count Corla, that now is the time to start the last leg of the journey to build a truly national democracy and a truly national parliament, a republic worthy of the name and of the sacrifices of all who came before. Toshe in Amanish on Tir a in two, Agasni more do in referen erean tuck neheren a ve ogging, Kahimid, a sha a yenav, Agas Kahimid era nu a in to her a winch a mock. We stand again on the threshold of the future. It is now for us to meet the challenge set by Uncaid Dahl and to finish the journey to full Irish democracy and freedom. Gurimila Mahagov. I now call on the leader of the Labour Party, Deputy Brendan Howland, to address us.